right, what is going on with all you fucking maniacs? MOD coming at you with another video, as always, from the MOD Crypt. If you missed anything in the past week, click the eye in the upper right corner of the screen. Should pop up right now to get caught up on my latest videos. I'd really appreciate it. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell for all notifications so you don't miss a damn thing. MOD giving you only the true elite underground metal raw fucking intolerance. As always, welcome to Album Review Tuesdays here on the channel. Tonight we're going deep into the underground that is Sweden for a review of one of the pioneers of Swedish death metal and our absolute legends in my opinion. Well, at least their 90s work for the most part from 92 to 96 after that kind of went a little bit south in some ways. So tonight's review is of Hypocrisy Osculum Obscenum, which was released in 93 on Nuclear Blast Records. There's the tape. I'll show you guys the J card really, really quick. Thank you to Mike Fogish for this awesome fucking tape. He sent me six tapes. Hypocrisy, Immolation, Black Sabbath, Annihilator, uh, You Super. Uh, what else did he send me? A couple other ones. I can't remember off the top of my head. Sorry about that, Mike. But yeah, I'll be reviewing all of his tapes that he sent me and a bunch of other cool shit. And this was released in 93 on Nuclear Blast Records and is often cited as by fans as one of their best offerings or if not their best offerings. Though I think both Penetralia and Osculum Obscenum are equally elite personally. But it's not hard to figure out why fans love this fucking album so much. So the band formed back in 1991 and hail from Ludvika the Dalarna, Sweden. Okay. So for the lineup on Osculum Obscenum we have... Masse Droberg, who would go on to form Dark Funeral, or join Dark Funeral. You guys know how I feel about that fucking band. Anyway, we have Peter Tratgren on guitars, keyboards. We have Mikkel Hedlund on bass, and Lars Suzuki on drums. Or Suzuki, who says it. Anyway, hope I said that right. Anyway, let's get into the review. Now, the album opens up with Pleasure of Molestation, and there's a really eerie, dark, ominous ambience emitting from the keyboard work here at the beginning of the album and it certainly lets you know where the album is going to be taking you throughout its musical journey and then bang it explodes into full on death metal attacks that are ridden with rot, slime and fucking brutality with a sick bass tone that is very reminiscent of early autopsy especially albums like uh, Severed Survival but definitely has that Swedish flair and style that we've come to know and love. And there's some amazing double bass drumming on here that combines with frantic, chaotic, insane blast beats from the demented depths of hell with some crazy guitars here that are loud and violent sounding with a powerful low-end production that's raw and muddy. And vocals are also furious and rotting with putrid foul, uh, disgust remains and anti-Christian stances. Overall, this is a great opening track. Next up, you've got Exclamation of Necrophage. This one is a sick fucking bass driving attack, okay? The structure of the track has some great Swedish groove death metal riffing that's very reminiscent of Grave and Dismember and stuff like that, uh, Entombed, and it comes on an explosion of double bass with savage vocals from the depths of hell itself, like a caged maniac executing everything in his wake, okay? And then it's got some really crazy... Uh, tempo shifts that come in on a more mid-paced affair with driving the ship into barbaric blasting cacophony and insanity that elevates the track to new heights of depths and brutality. You got some great emotional output on this track which is pretty, pretty extraordinary as well and there's some great anger that's very present on this record against Christianity with a lot of disgust and hatred. This is another sick track. Next up on the album, you have the title track, Osculum Obscenum. Man, I love this track, guys. It's fucking killer, okay? You got some amazing, strange, eerie voice sampling at the beginning of the track, and then boom, it burgeons into, like, the slow, mid-paced death metal build, which begins creeping into your room like an evil from beyond the grave, slithering across your floor to start gnawing at your flesh. That's exactly what the track feels like as the intensity builds from a mid-paced double bass driving affair to some sick low-end brutal riffing and guttural growling vocals that are amazing but decipherable and then bang it picks up with some intense blast speeding fucking insanity and frenzy that induces headbanging madness this is another killer track next up we got Necronomicon and man do I love this song right away we get some straight up death metal brutality with low-end screaming guitar work powerful fucking double bass 
and then Savage Blast beats straight from the cloven hooves of Satan himself, which completely pummel you into dust and ash. Now, vocals here are unhinged and powerful and ridden with disgust and rotting anguish, albeit alongside some incredible death metal riffs, which are very, very amazing and some of the best I've heard on the Swedish death metal record, which reminds me of Grave, um, Entombed, Dismember, and bands like that. So great brutal savagery on here, especially with Hypocrisy's early work, and this is why they're so highly regarded and praised for these early albums. So guys, let's check out some Hypocrisy here on MOD. Enjoy. <laughs> Guys, we are back, and that was some killer shit, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought so. All right, so next up, it goes into black metal, and yes, that's right. This is a black metal track with death metal elements. I mean, crazy shit. Maybe not as much in the guitar work, but it is very tremolo picked all the hell. Drumming, insane and fast. It's got some really cold, powerful, profound emotions, and there's a much slower, lower-end groove on this track that isn't as much extenuated as it is on other tracks, but it is there. Uh, it's got some great tremolo picking. It's a very violent sounding black metal track with a lot of powerful ice cold riffing emotions. And you could say that this kind of has the best of both worlds like death and black metal, but there is some in the vocals as well, but there's a lot of black metal elements here too that really give the album some much needed depth and substance and variation. Not that it didn't have it before, but this just makes for an excellent track and it's absolutely killer great stuff. So next up, it goes into Inferior Devotees and man do I love this track. Fast brutal from the start before it slows down into a fast slash slow trade-off between the riffing and budgeting song structuring of the song rating. Very burgeoning, primal, and nihilistic in a lot of ways. The brutality is well emphasized and carried throughout in all of the right places in exactly the right times. And nothing feels forced or methodically planned as one might expect. And it doesn't feel like they were going for perfection, but rather organic precision with immaculately crafted savagery and brutal spine ripping fucking drum work. Very savage guitar work on this track with some insane memorable riffs that will have you headbanging like crazy. This track absolutely slays. Next, we have Infant Sacrifices. And well, if you ever wanted to know what something like this would sound like, you don't have to look any further than this Hypocrisy album right here, okay? Absolutely insane. There's some ins absolutely bone-shattering, soul-shattering brutality on here, okay? Don't know how else to say it. 
which is absolutely crazy that in 1993 this was something that came out of that magnitude nothing short of insane aggressive emotionally powerful completely abhorrent in every sense of the fucking word and man i love the riffing on here it's so memorable hook inducing it's got great head banging insanity a bit of a slower paced affair in places and then you get some super fast speed blasting and shit like that just a great goddamn track some great growling vocals powerful lyrics and it delivers on all fronts this is a great track next we've got attachment to the ancestor and man this track starts off with a slow dm crawl that has some doom metal elements really very much has some doom metal elements to start it off and of course you get into that death metal savagery double bass and a little bit of a faster drumming on this track uh, lots of violence after a really nice clean guitar driving ambient section that gives it some atmosphere and lifts it really great stuff there as well uh, some great incredible low slow builds and then blows up into a full double bass driving affair that is nothing short of intense brutal and aggressive but this one is a more of a doom death metal track it's a lot slower in places but definitely adds some elevation to the album absolutely killer Closing out the album is Althotas, and this track is driving primal, raw, and brutal. As the double bass driving drums pummel you once again into a battered mess of barbaric defeat and savagery, and the guitar work and the vocals here are absolutely insane. Great emotional delivery. There's some amazing riffs on this track as well that are really low end, that have like kind of a groove and then a faster pace that will leave you completely crazed in a head banging lunatic on this track like it did for me absolutely killer heavy fast raw and aggressive and a great way to end this amazing disgusting rage filled brutality and amazing record from the offering here from hypocrisy which is a masterpiece of swedish death metal the final verdict for osculum obscenum is getting a 10 out of 10 this is a must own for any death metal freak thank you mike bogish once again hail the fucking underground all right, there you have it, another album review in the books here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the premiere. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications. Merchandise coming up on the screen. Music of Destruction. Janelle did an awesome job on the shirt. It's me giving a finger like this with my hair in my face. It says, spread the plague, annihilate the human race on the back. You got four, five different designs, sorry, four different colors. Very cool. Thank you to everybody who bought merch on that shirt. Also coming up on the screen right now, MOD, Raw Fucking Intolerance with the green lettering. Raw Fucking Intolerance on the back has me going like this on the front really really cool design Janelle is going to be working on new stuff as well with my uh, shirts she's also working on a brand new green screen set for me it's going to be absolutely awesome really appreciate you Janelle I love you join the channel become an MLD elite get great perks $4.99 per month hit the join button you get access to exclusive content the seed podcast you did, just did the history of discharge review requests like you saw with black witchery last week or anything else you want album rankings top 15s whatever Band interviews and promotions, you're also going to get members only access to content early, anywhere from 4 to 12 hours before everybody else, and member collaborations on the YouTube channel. I'm doing one next Saturday, I did an announcement, you guys know that one's coming up, as well as uh, help with your YouTube channel and stuff like that. Have an awesome night guys, I'm out of here, that's all I got for now, Hales, I'll see you for Album Ranking Wednesdays, I'm out.